Okay, so I'm just going to do a voiceover on this trip to Kroger because I actually had heard music playing inside. So I'm just going to kind of talk uh, through this and let you guys know these are weird times. So I wanted to go to Kroger. This is our first day that us and Georgia are supposed to stay at home. It started today, Friday. Um, it's around 8 a.m. I'm heading in to see if I can f at least find some toilet paper and a few other things we need. Um, the parking lot is full. It is just absolutely full for 8 o'clock in the morning. I thought that it would not be. So I guess I was wrong there. Anyway, I'm heading in to pick up. I need meat. I need toilet paper. We're completely out of meat. And um, I'm going to go in and just see what's what's going on in here. Um, I got a scarf to cover my mouth, and I'm just going to do the best I can because uh, all of the delivery services and everything are backed up, and I couldn't get anything until a few days down the road. So I'm coming in, and uh, let's see what it's like. I just wanted to, you know, kind of remember uh, this time and kind of get a... Um, a vision a true vision of what it was like so that down the road we'll be able to have something to look back on and kind of see that it it was worse than we thought or or better than we thought but I'm going in through the produce section here and um, it the produce section looked fine I didn't really see anything that looked crazy out of place or anything like that um, there were some empty shelves, uh, like straight ahead of me there, but it wasn't any of the produce. So I did pick up some salad and um, spinach, and you can see that it just it, it just looks like any normal day would look in the grocery store until you get to certain sections of it, and then you can really tell that you know, there's something weird going on, but you can see straight ahead there, those shelves were, I believe that might've been things like um, prepared foods, maybe salad, potato salads and things like that. Um, fruits, I don't know. Um, it seemed like all the things that were healthy for you, there was plenty of. Um, you'll see later on throughout here that, um, there's a lot of people wearing masks and a, and several that have gloves on. And I headed over this way so that I could see the, um, the deli department. I was going to get some of their prepared food, but they didn't have anything yet, I guess, because it was so early in the morning. So I didn't get any fried chicken. Woo! That was a bummer. Anyway, I'm heading down through here, down through the bakery items. They look fine. Everything looks good there. And even over in the deli, the meats and all, they were working over there. It looked like they had plenty of meats. Um, that was one of the things I came in for. And I wanted to, you know, compare it as, you know, to Walmart we were in the other day. And their beef and pork and all that was just completely wiped out. You can see that in one of my other videos. It was just, there was no beef, there was no pork. It was just gone. So I was kind of, you know, wondering if I should expect that here too. All the frozen bakery looked good. There wasn't anything out of crazy gone there. Um, now I'm heading back towards the meat and I'm I'm wondering wow I hope that I can at least get some hamburger or something and yeah they did have hamburger and I, I was able to get some they did have some roast some pork chops it didn't really seem like it was too bad um, I, I know that it could have been better but I found pretty much anything and everything I needed. You can see there's some spaces throughout there. Um, but, you know, I didn't want to like overbuy or anything and take it away from others that needed it. So I just picked up a couple hamburger and there's some empty spaces there. A couple hamburger and some pork chops and a couple roasts. 
You can always do amazing things with roasts. You can have your roast potatoes and carrots and then the next day make vegetable soup out of it. So, um, yeah, I'm headed down towards the pork and all and the lunch meats and all of that section. It all looked pretty good to me. I really didn't see too much gone or crazy. So I'm sure they were, you know, at least the stock the best that they could be since it was a Friday morning. Uh, it was probably a good time to go. I would imagine probably by Sunday night, it's not gonna look exactly the same. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of go through here and take a look and just see what it was really like in our area. And as you can see, the hot dogs and lunch meats and all that look good. Looked like there was plenty of those. And I headed over towards the um, dairy here in a few minutes. I stopped to pick up some uh, bacon, I think. So there's the lunch meats. They look fine, like they're well stocked. Now the hams and all through that area looked a little empty. And I believe there was there was milk in there. Um, it just there was a lot of empty spaces too. So I didn't need milk, so I didn't have to go that direction. Um, and I really didn't need much else except toilet paper, but of course I filled my cart anyway. Um, and that, um, I can't, I couldn't play the video or the audio that I played while I was in the store because they were playing music. And um, I figured I'd just do a voiceover so I didn't have to worry about it. But I talked while I was in there and kind of guided you guys just like I am now as to what was going on and where I was at. Nothing really looked out of place here. I was able to get some boxes of Kleenexes. It looked like the whole end cap was full of Kleenexes. So I was able to get two or three boxes of those. Now you go down through the soft drink, I mean, not soft drinks, fat, uh, laundry detergent aisle and that looked very sparse there was they didn't have my laundry detergent they did have some laundry detergent but uh look at the empty shelves there i'm not sure why that would be but i guess people are just washing everything they can wash which is not a bad thing but you could see that the shelves were pretty empty on the cleaning products also and they've got all their Easter stuff out, so. There was plenty of Easter candy. And I was looking for the toilet paper at this point and I think I had already passed it. So I thought I would just kinda wander around and pick up some stuff. It never hurts to have a few extra things you need. And for the video's sake, I wanted to see there's the napkin aisle, the water aisle. Uh, I was able to pick up one package of napkins. You can see the paper plates and things like that were pretty far gone. The shelves were emptying up on that for Friday morning. Uh, there I was able to get a package of napkins just in case you might need them. You never know. Um, never hurts to have some extra in case toilet paper just is never around again because I couldn't get any in here. It was completely gone. And um, over here is the dairy section. I did stop there and pick up a couple of um, breakfast rolls. And it looked fine to me. There was plenty of stuff there. Cookies, dough, and things like that. You'll notice the people do most of them have a mask on some have gloves on some nothing I just had a scarf around me 
and uh, nobody really seemed like they were in too big of a hurry. They were just kind of shopping around and I was just wanting to get my stuff and get the heck out because I am 61 years old and I don't want it to zap me because I, don't, I probably won't have the strength like an 18 year old would have with it. So I didn't want to take any chances. I just wanted to get my stuff and get out of there. Now we're over in the frozen section and it, I really didn't see anything abnormal here either. It just really looked normal, just completely normal. They had all their frozen vegetables, frozen dinners, um, I, I really can't even tell you it just there wasn't much weirdness it was pretty much normal so I picked up a couple frozen dinners just in case you know I wanted to not cook I love to have frozen um, turkeys and things like that that I can warm up for lunch or something I don't have to cook so there are, that's what I was doing in the frozen section and um, then I'm going to I believe straight ahead is the pharmacy everything looked normal I didn't see anything abnormal I mean, abnormal for us is, you know, people walking around wearing masks and gloves at the grocery store. That's just not something that we do here. So thank you so much, China. We appreciate that you brought us down to your level. Um, never had to worry about things like that ever in our lifetime. Never thought I ever would. But here we are. And that's the weird thing about it, you know, is it's just so abnormal. There's the ice cream section. That looked so good. Um, people just aren't hoarding ice cream, I guess. I don't know why, because that seems like the thing you would want to hoard before um, bread. But... The bread section didn't look too bad to me either but as you go down through here you're gonna see that n nothing looks sparse when we were in Walmart a couple of days ago everything was sparse I mean it's just all the shelves in the grocery department soups everything just completely empty you can see all that on my previous video that we did while we were on vacation and we stopped in at the Walmart there in the town we were camping in. So I'm just picking up a few frozen items here. A couple boxes of ice creams on a stick. Which is my weakness. I love the orange ice cream sticks with vanilla ice cream and orange. And oh god, I got some strawberry shortcake ones. I'm going to try those. They look so good. Saw people getting pizzas, putting them in their buggy. Um, I mean, the thing is, is that right now people are running out of money too. So whether the grocery store has it or not, they can't really afford it. They're not working. So it's just, it's just bad. It's just not a good situation. Now I gotta go pick up my yogurt down here. So I didn't see anything. The yogurt looked fine. Everything down through here. I mean, the yogurt looked fine. It just looked great. <laughs> um, nothing was like hoarded. Is what I was trying to see. Shelf not just kind of get an idea of what it was like compared to Walmart. It's so much nicer. Of course, we do live kind of out in the country and Kroger out here is probably 
you know, the only store that we have out this way. So I don't know if that's why they're so stocked up or what, but there you go. There's the toilet paper aisle. I couldn't get any toilet paper. Um, we have some still, but I just wanted to make sure we didn't get to that point where we're freaking out. Um, I, I was able to get some Kleenexes and some napkins, but no toilet paper. And that was 8 o'clock in the morning, so I don't know if they are even getting any. I didn't ask. And there's all your Easter candy. It's not, they're not hoarding that, so that's good. <clears throat> so, I really didn't see too much too bad. The only odd things that we would see here today would have been <clears throat> the uh, toilet paper aisle. Uh, some of the meat was sparse. Um, the people wearing the mask and the gloves. And, I mean, there was a few aisles that were but nothing was completely wiped out really except the toilet paper it's so weird usually when Georgia gets storms or snow or anything down here it's everybody goes for the, the milk and the bread I've never heard them say get your toilet paper until this thing happens so this is really weird but they did start our our law went into effect today that we we have to stay at home unless, you know, there is uh, grocery shopping, medicine, help an elderly, or if our job says, you know, that we're needed, which here I am getting coffee. You can see the coffee looks good. They're not hoarding coffee. Either that or Kroger is really on top of things, putting, you know, their stock in keeping it in. So since they just started it today, my husband still has to work. Um, he fixes machines in hospitals and nursing homes and Brave Stadium and places like that, huge places. So. He still has to go out when their machines break down. And I said, that's not really fair to me because you're going to get it and you know that I'll get it. And um, I said, I know. So they're, they're letting him stay home a couple of days a week and do some training classes. I guess just hoping this thing blows over before too long. And uh, then... I don't know, I guess he's just gonna continue to work until, unless this thing gets much worse and we all, you know, just croak or something. But for right now, my husband is going out into the, the workplace daily. And I am staying home and after this grocery shopping trip, will not be going anywhere except here. And I'm a homebody anyway, so this is not even affecting me in any way, shape, or form. Um, I pray every day for my parents. I pray for my kids. Uh, I'm worried more about all of them than myself. Um, I'm pretty tough. And besides, I think I already had the virus before the virus even came here. I was sick really bad. And it lasted forever, and then it came back again. So, I don't know. I mean, they're just, it's just all a mystery. I wish they would just hurry up and get a shot so we could all get it. Get a shot and be done. Oh, really? <laughs> it's a bad taste in your mouth for China. Why they could not have told people more than they did. It's absolutely ridiculous so I'm waiting in line here um, I'm trying to stay about six feet away from the person in front of me um, which is what we're supposed to do but uh, sometimes you do the best you can and 
uh, when we get up here a little bit farther at the checkout, you'll see that Kroger put a plastic, a big piece of plexiglass in between you and the cashier. I guess that's supposed to help. Of course, who knows? This thing is supposed to be like a big black cloud and it just stays in the air. So who knows what's helping and what isn't helping at this point. Just do a lot of praying and trusting. And don't be frivolous and crazy and go out there and do things that you know um, you shouldn't be doing. If they can't even play a Major League Baseball game, then you need to just stay home. Stay home, be safe, and besides that, what is ever wrong with staying home? I mean, it could be a lot worse. You're home, woo. You know, what? Are you, what are you, is it a punishment for you to sit on the couch and watch TV? Is it a punishment for you to take a nap, enjoy your home, stay home, or you're safe? And if you're not getting paid, there is relief. There's unemployment relief. There's stimulus help. Um, there's prayer. Just reach out to those that can help and ask for it. Don't be afraid. Do the right thing and remember God helps those that help themselves. So I'm still staying back here six feet because I don't want to be, you know, too close to the woman in front of me. And I've got a scarf around my mouth, so I'm actually doing everything I'm supposed to be doing, but I really probably should not even be at this store because it's just, like I said, I'm 61. If I was younger, I wouldn't worry about it at all, but when you get older, it's not in your control anymore. Your strength is just, it's gone, and you have to accept that. You're, you're losing strength and immune, immunity and different things, so... You never know when your heart's going to stop. When you're young, you don't think about that, you know? So I'm just probably not going to go back out. This is a one-time thing. And I usually order my groceries and have Walmart deliver them anyway. I love that service. And that's what I'm going to do from here on out. But the thing is, is with the times the way they are right now, you have to order like two or three days ahead to get on the list to get delivered. It just doesn't happen real fast. So you got to plan ahead for that. And I, that's one thing I didn't do when we got back from vacation. We were just out of everything. And I had to go out. So after I drop the phone up here in my basket, um, you'll see the plexiglass that they have up here between the customer and the checkout person. something to buy. Yeah, there's where I dropped the phone. Accidentally in the basket. Picked it up. Got it straightened up. Turned it off. And then I came back. And there's where I need to show you the um, plexiglass that's between me and her. They're installing those. So, hope you enjoyed this video. And please subscribe like and hit the bell and i love you guys there goes oliver bye guys